Hey guys, it's me. Um, early this morning I got up and took uh, uh, my drone and uh, all my gear out to Sky Lake. Hadn't been out there in a long time and I was going to meet up with MK Davis and another good buddy and you know just roam around check and see if anything strange and odd was going on at Sky Lake. So I got there early and I'm like okay I'll go ahead and put the drone up while nobody's here and it's quiet and see what I get. Well immediately upon firing the drone up and getting everything rolling with it, I started having problems. And I've never had problems at Sky Lake. I've never had problems at uh, the Indian Mounds of Hell's Gate, uh, out at the Haunted Trees, at the Gates of Hell. I've never had problems with this drone. Couldn't hardly lock on to any GPS uh, signals and satellites, but I managed to get it up off the ground. I filmed a little short uh, video segment and I got an error message uh, something about you know pulling the throttle down so I landed it I rebooted started all over and uh, again I started having uh, you know trouble locking on to a GPS my GPS satellites so I finally did I finally got everything locked on to the required satellites to make her work properly so I put her up in there and I got her up about you know 15 20 feet and everything was fine everything was great and then when I decided to give it some altitude and get it a little higher and start filming video, this thing raised up about another five or six feet and just shot to my left, which took it over the fence of the park of Sky Lake, over the, 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 the road, and out over uh, into this heavily graveled parking lot. And this thing was moving like a beast it was absolutely just flying as fast as it could go and I realized very quickly that it was heading for not only these real tall uh, field of bushes and grass but it was also heading for this uh, big tree line and I knew that if it, if it got lost in those tall bushes they were about waist high or if it got off into the trees I'd never see it again I'd never be able to find it to get it back so Kind of wrongly, I panicked and I shut it down. Well, it crashed into the parking lot. I retrieved it and other than a few cosmetic, you know, scratches and dings, she seems okay. But the question is, why did it go bonkers like that? Why did it go crazy? Uh, was it something technical? Was it something strange going on at Sky Lake? Because Again, I've been hit along with MK, uh, MK Davis, we've been hit with infrasound. Uh, I've been hit with waves of fear out there. Uh, there. There's something strange and weird about that place. So when MK showed up, I told him what happened. And I remembered about one of his very first drones. He was at an Indian mound. And as he described it, his drone did the same thing that my drone did. It got up. It shot off just like somebody else had grabbed the controls and was gone. Matter of fact, his crashed and was damaged so heavily he had to get another one. So, what do you say? Uh, technical issues? Sure. I mean, why not? That's the most logical thing that it could have been. It could have just been you know, having trouble getting a hold of GPS satellites and couldn't act right. Uh, could it have been something a little stranger, something a little more cryptid or uh, paranormal? I'd lean that way too. I mean, it's, it's very possible. But in the process of showing and telling MK where, you know, the drone was headed, he revealed a story to me about one of his visits out there that I'd never heard before. A cryptid encounter. Uh, a witness was there. Uh, they started talking, and this witness began telling MK about what happened when he was visiting Sky Lake. So, technical issues, paranormal issues, cryptid issues, drone crashes. Not sure if it's going to be usable again. We'll find out some other day. But right now, we're going to play that clip of me interviewing MK Davis talking about this witness and his cryptid encounter. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. You guys be safe out there. 
Well, we're here at Sky Lake in Belzona, and I'm with uh, my good buddy, Mr. M.K. Davis, and, you know, we're, uh, I was telling M.K. about my drone malfunction, which we'll talk about that later, but uh, when I was telling M.K. about it, the, the drone went crazy, and it flew out over this way before I had to basically crash it, and when I was telling M.K. about it, he was telling me that my drone was heading toward a, a sighting area that got reported to him. So, what what, what happened, MK? Yeah, what? there was a gentleman out here who uh, said he was born and raised in this area. And we were talking about animals and cryptids and things like that. He, I asked him if he had ever seen anything. He said, yes, uh, over there in the, that corner of the woods there, he had seen uh, two animals come out that he took to be uh, black panthers. They were large and on all fours and they went across the field and were gone and uh and you know, of course you know who knows what they were that's a pretty good distance but he could tell they were really large what are your thoughts mk i mean would you would you venture what uh no, this this area right here is a the last remaining part of an ancient prehistoric forest and it hasn't been cut down and destroyed or thinned out or anything like that. So I'd, I'd say that if there was any any place that a, that a cryptid could hide, it would be around here. Uh, and, and whether it be a, a, a black animal or that run on all fours, or whether it be a, a, the last remaining individuals of a extinct woodpecker. You know, uh, places like this are little islands, little islands of uh, the old, the old forest. And in in strange places like this, like what happened with my drone, you've experienced the same problem with some of your drones. Oh yes, I have. Uh, I've on certain places, uh, uh, there's certain Indian mounds I've had problems with. It's, it might have been hematite in the mound or something like that. Don't know for sure. But I've had one that just did basically what yours did and just take off on its own. Well, that's uh, strange Mississippi. Yeah, it's strange. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll see you guys later. All right. Watch out for cryptids.